Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled, and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. Alfa Romeo Racing is the kind of team that other privateers aspire to be. No matter the challenges they face, this is a team that rises to the occasion and makes it out the other side. They need someone who can be consistent, resilient and determined. And there's no doubt in my mind that you can give them those qualities. Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favorable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate, but you can choose who to declare as your second. The harder the rival from the eligible selection, the more respect you stand to gain or lose depending on the result. Welcome to Melbourne and the inaugural event of the F1 2019 championship season. The session is starting shortly and there's a real sense of anticipation in the air. A feeling that anything can happen this year and if it does, well this weekend could be the opening chapter to one of the most exciting F1 seasons ever. Joining me in the commentary box is of course Anthony Davidson and it's great to have you back again. What can you tell us about this year's roster? Uh, there are some new faces this year, aren't there? Absolutely, Crofty. There's been a number of interesting signings over the last few months. Where would you like to start? Right, well, this is definitely someone to keep an eye on. Well, they've been signed up likely in no small part due to the way they carried themselves in the Formula 2 Championship. They have a great track record of putting the team first. At one of the races, they even gave up their own position when their car had a technical issue so that their teammate, Lucas Weber, who also debuts here today, could get ahead that kind of team spirit could take them a long way this season. Those two aren't the only new faces from Formula 2 this season, are they? No, this season will introduce fans to George Russell and Lando Norris, two very promising young British drivers. Plus, we'll meet Alexander Albon from Thailand and finally Devon Butler. Now, Devon was a bit of a controversial figure in Formula 2 last year. He racked up a lot of penalties over the course of the season, including one where he collided with his closest rival. It was an arsy clip. Now, certainly after the event, they were nothing but professional in terms of how they spoke about the incident with Devon, but it's hard to imagine them being as polite about it behind closed doors. I think this rival will be one to keep an eye on over the next few races as both drivers take their first steps into the world of Formula 1.
job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. day-to-day -day. let's have your take on it it's been a lot of hard work but here you are making your debut in Formula One you must be thrilled so how are you finding things at the team are you settling in what are you expecting out of this season are you just aiming to find your feet in Formula One or do you see something more That's everything. So come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Just about ready to kick off today's qualifying here in Melbourne. It's the Australian Grand Prix. Now then, Anthony Davidson, you're not getting any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions in a, an illustrious 30-year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you had that one chance to deliver a perfect lap? 
It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk and just how much of it are you willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of grip from braking, cornering and traction. And over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong. And that's why achieving the perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, I've been doing this 30 years now and it never gets any easier. It won't be easy getting out of this qualifying session, but see what you can do.
60 seconds left in the session. Position. Well done. was a good qualifying performance. Sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent, and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let 
us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now, the place host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe, and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. So here we are at Albert Park Circuit, 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend, of course, make for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. We have plenty of changes to the sport this year with tweaks to the regulations, a fresh looking spread of tire compounds, and of course, some changes to the roster of car manufacturers. It's goodbye to Salva and hello once again to the classic name of Alfa Romeo in Formula One. It's also goodbye to Force India. They've been rebranded as Racing Point. Joining me to take you through all the action of the 2019 Formula One season is Anthony Davidson. And it's great to have you with us. Thanks, Crofty. Always happy to be here and I'm looking forward to getting underway. Last year was Mercedes' fifth constructors' title in a row, although for the first half of the season it was absolutely neck and neck with the Ferraris. Hopefully this year we can see the chasing pack take that final step, as I'd love to see a championship contest all the way up to the final race in Abu Dhabi. Another story to keep an eye on is the performance of Red Bull, who have switched to the Honda power unit this year. What that will mean for both their performance and reliability remains to be seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Gasly, James, Magnussen, Ricardo, and Lando Norris, Hulkenberg, Perez. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Roman Grosjean and Stroll, Weber, Raikkonen, Carlos Sainz and Alexander Elbon, Russell and Devon Butler starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Right, let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck.
new strategy is available on the MFT. We're leading our teammate by 6.9 seconds. Okay, clear. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed.
helicopter now. Keep it up, gap to teammate behind is 14.1 seconds.
Keep managing your tires. Manage your tires. Our gap to the car in front is 3.3 seconds. Gap to teammate behind is 12.6 seconds. Well done, Valtteri. You won the 2019 Australian Grand Prix. Great job, bravo. How about that? Fuck yeah! Well, that's payback from last year, Valtteri. Indeed. To whom it may concern, fuck you.
amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You've had experience with Devon's fast, aggressive style. Any advice for the drivers he passed today? You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? Appreciate your time. You're not the only driver to be handed by the press. Emails, like the one I've just sent you, will give you an insight on how your former Formula 2 rivals are handling the press. Be sure to check your emails regularly, as I'll be sure to send you any of the more, let's say, interesting press transcripts that come my way. Looks like one of your rivals is also going to an upcoming historical event. If you choose to take him on, it might help get your name out there a bit. <laughs> 